Uh, Kelvin, congratulations on the win. Overall thoughts on your performance in there? I thought it was decent. I did enough to get the win, but uh, I don't think it was anything special. The Kimura he had, he was going for, I think it was in the first round. Was that close at all, or were you pretty comfortable in there? I was kind of comfortable, but if I didn't let, I didn't, if I didn't defend right, I knew that he had a good chance of turning me over because he was so strong. Um, but, you know, I, I'm a black belt on the ground myself, and uh, I have plenty of experience. So, uh, you know, I knew if I de defended right, then I'd be okay. Then uh, what your like, outside of the actual what happened in the octagon, overall emotions after that? I know, uh, like, the big story was the pressure leading up to this, but now that you're past it and you have the win, what are your thoughts right now? Yeah, I didn't even want to think about it because I know that the tears would come dropping. You know, I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to get too deep into it. Uh, I'm just thankful that I got the win. I got my hand raised, and uh, I'm thankful for my team. I'm thankful for everybody that's helped me get to this point. And I think over the last 12 months, the top of the middleweight division has had a pretty big changing of the guards with the rise of Marvin Vittori, Kevin Holland, who's obviously fighting Derek Brunson now. Like, what, So what do you want the rest of your 2021 to look like, given there are a lot of fights coming up and, the, and your champ is now going up a division? Yeah, we'll see. We'll have to see what, uh, what he pretends to do. Um, is he going to defend both belts or he's going to stay up there? But uh, that'll come later for sure. Um, Right now, I'm just focused on staying active. I only fought one time last year, so I'd like to stay active this year and, and go at least 3-0. Hey, Do you have any names in mind in particular? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. I'll have to go back, talk to my team, talk to my management, talk to Dana, and see what the options are from here. Uh, but I did mention if somebody steps out in the Robert Whitaker Paula Costa fight, that I'd be willing to step up if, if, if something happens to either one of those fighters. Is there either name of those two that you'd be more interested in fighting? Um, just with the history of Rob, you know, we, we, we uh, were supposed to fight back in uh, what, 2019, so uh, I'd like to get that back. But uh, really, I have no preference, no. Is there any, any interest, like, I think a week before Darren Till's fighting Marvin Vittori, is there any interest in being a backup for that fight as well? For which one? Darren Till versus Marvin Vittori. Well, Marvin's a teammate of mine, so I'm not going to fight him. Um, but if I can get another crack at Darren, why not? Thanks, man. Kelvin, right over here. Yeah. Uh, that was a three-round fight. We know he's one of the bigger, tougher guys in the division. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did he land a shot on your face? Because you look very clean for being in a 15-minute fight. Uh, I believe he might have landed maybe one. Um, and it kind of stunned me, but uh, not enough to, to kind of put me out or, or, or discourage me. The flying knees, did any of them ever really get a lot of force behind them when you flipped them? None of them, no. Thank you. Kelvin, in, could you answer in Spanish? Sí, sí. Okay. So how do you describe the feeling, you know, on getting this victory after uh, more than two years? And the second one is if you have any message to the Mexican fans who are supporting you today? Sí, este, eh, la verdad no quiero pensarlo muy eh, más allá porque las lágrimas se van a venir rolando, ¿no? Este, estoy muy contento, no, no he tenido la mano al, alzada desde el 2018, entonces esta victoria significa bastante para mí, ¿no? Por, por muchas razones. Y, y como te digo, no quiero pensarlo más allá porque van a venir las lágrimas, ¿no? Y como siempre, agradecido con la gente, con la afición mexicana que me apoya. Este, que me ven pelear y esta victoria es, es parte para ellos. How do you see the uh, fight between uh, Robert and Paolo playing out? Uh, man, I don't know. I, I honestly think um, Rob is, is the better technician, you know, but obviously Paolo Costa packs a punch, so if, if one lands, then it's night night, you know. Um, but I feel like Rob is, is the better technician. I know you said it wasn't anything special, but that you were happy with the win. Are you maybe being a little hard on yourself, or how much pressure are you putting on yourself when you go out there and, and, and are doing these fights? I know you had the pressure to get the win, but how much pressure are you putting on yourself to perform at, at, a, at a super high level? Yeah, I, I always expect great things from me. You know, even if I go out there and do things, uh, good things, um, like tonight, you know, I, I had a great fight. I feel like I, maybe I won all three rounds. Um, two of the judges didn't think so. Um, but I always expect the best. I always expect more from me because I know what I bring to the table. I know my skill set. I know what I can do. And so uh, I expect great things from me. 
And I know you've been in so many tough battles. You've been in you know, some of the biggest fights that have been around. When you start looking at some of these guys as next possibilities, what is it about certain ones that interest you and maybe get you more excited? What are you looking for in the, in the next challenges? Is it about guys that get you back to the title or is it ones that are gonna push you so that you reach to higher levels in your own right? For me, it's about getting back to the title and um, you know those key wins that'll get me back to the title. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kevin, obviously you're the only guy to really push Israel like hard in the cage. What are these other guys doing wrong against him? I don't know. To be honest, I just feel like maybe, I don't know. You know, I just know that uh, some people have tried to, to use maybe some of the same tactics that I have coming in, uh, but they don't have the, the, the same footwork, they don't have the same head, head movement, and they don't have the same boxing skills. Do you think he beats Jan Blavavic? Well, I, 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 I do. I think he might be the better technician for that fight. Blakovic is an amazing champion. He's a great fighter. I just think it's the little things that will make a difference, and uh, Israel's really good at those little things. Cool. Thanks, man.